Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to take another look at Newton's lens equation. And remember from the previous video that it was defined as the focal length squared. We talk about the effect of focal length squared is equal to the product of x sub o times x sub i, where x sub o was the distance from the object to the focal point, and x sub i was the distance from the image to the focal point. Now we've also drawn up here the equation that the magnification of a lens is equal to the negative of the ratio of the image size to the object size. And notice in this case, since the image has a negative height, it's, it's pointing downward, the negative, of course, will take care of that, and the magnification will be the ratio of this magnitude to that magnitude. It can also be written as the negative of the image distance over the object distance, and since the image distance is x sub i plus the focal length, and the object distance is x sub o plus the focal length, it can be written as that as well. But what about the relationship? What about Newton's lens equation? Can we derive that from simply looking at the diagram, at the ray diagram here? And the answer is yes. Notice, and I'm going to use a different color, that this triangle here and this triangle here, these triangles are similar to one another. They're similar triangles. That means that the ratios of the sides and the angles are the same. And if you realize that this distance here is y sub i, it's the image height, and this distance here is the object height, and the distance from there to there is x sub o, and the distance from there to there is the focal length, the effect of focal length, we could then say that the ratio of y sub o divided by x sub o must equal y sub i divided by, and where are we here, divided by f. Okay, now we can go to the other side of the lens and do the same thing. Notice that this triangle right here and this triangle right here, those two must also be similar triangles. With other words, the ratios of the angles and the ratios of the size must be the same. So using that triangle, we can say that the height y sub i divided by x sub i must equal, this here would be y sub o divided by, and that's this distance, which is f. Okay, what we should do now is find the ratios of y sub i to y sub o. And I'll, I'll use y sub o to y sub i. So by bringing this down here, I can say that y sub o divided by y sub i. And actually, I think I'm going to reverse that. Let me reverse that because we always like to write the magnification in terms of the image height over the object height. So let me use that ratio. I'll bring this down here, bring this up here. So I can say that f divided by x sub o is equal to y sub i, that should be i, divided by y sub o. So there's our first equation written in terms of the magnification. We'll do the same over here. And in this case, I'll have to bring this down. So we have y sub i divided by y sub o equals x sub i divided by f. And again, we left out any negative signs. This is simply the ratio of magnitudes. If this is true, that means that this being equal to that and this being equal to this, and since those two are equal to each other, we can set those two equal to each other. So from those two, we can then say that f divided by x sub o must therefore be equal to x sub i divided by f. And then all we have to do is move this f over here, move that x sub o over there, which means that f squared is therefore equal to x sub o times x sub i. And here again, we end up with Newton's lens equation simply from looking at the triangles of the rays going through the lens from the object to the image. And that's how it's done.